Okay, guys, let's calculate horsepower uh, of a hydraulic system. Uh, so let's say we have a 25 GPM pump over here. Uh, this is your pump over here, 25 GPM. And we have a relief valve on the hydraulic system that is 3000 PSI. Now, in this uh, system, you need the 25 GPM. So the cylinder moves at the velocity, at the speed that you want it to move. Uh, if you have less or more, uh, the cylinder uh, is a certain dimension, so it's gonna move faster or slower if you increase or decrease the GPM. So you, you have it that is 25 GPM because you need it at, at a certain speed. And you have 3000 PSI in order to move the load that you require over here to move. If you lower the pressure, it's just not gonna move uh, the load that it, that, that it needs to move, right? So we establish that you have 25, that you need 25 GPM and you need 3000 PSI, uh, at least a minimum for, to, for the system to work the way that you want it. So now is uh, what about the horsepower? What about the electrical motor? Uh, what size size should it be, right? So in order to do that, we have uh, over here, hydraulic horsepower equals GPM times PSI divided by 1714. 1714. Now the 1714 is a constant. Uh, if you want to know where the constant is coming from, I do have other videos that you can check it out and, and you can dig in there for uh, where is, is that 1714 is coming from. So, but uh, for this one, uh, we're gonna replace 25 GPM. We have over here, GPM 25. Uh, so you have 25 times uh, the PSI, 3000 PSI and you divide it by 1714. And the answer of that is going to be 43.7572. So that is horsepower that you're gonna need for this system. Now, this is 100% efficient. There's no inefficiencies in the system and everything is working beautiful and you're all good to go and all set, right? In reality, you may have some inefficiencies in the hydraulic system, and uh, you might want to increase uh, the horsepower to give some, some breathing room in there. You know, if you, if you have it tight, anything can, can um, affect your uh, performance uh, in your hydraulics and the motor start warming up, start uh, falling apart, you know? So you wanna give it a little bit more power than, than you calculate. So I usually, you know, I usually, that, that's just me, you know? But I usually go 437572, and I'll give it 15%. You know, I give it 50 15%. So when I do that, it, it gives me a 50 point three horsepower you know also keep in mind the uh, the electric motors they're not sold at 43 you know they, you may have a 45 you may have a 50 you may have a 55 i don't know i don't know what sizes they're there uh, but chances are uh, many people are not going to sell the a 51 horsepower unit for example you know uh, so I would at least put a 50, a 50 horsepower in the system uh, just so that, uh, that this will work and have some breed, uh, room to breathe in there. So this one over here, I would say 50 horsepower. You know, if you want to make it bigger, that's fine. Uh, but it, it will just give you some room. Now, also another thing to keep in mind, and, and this is very important, is that a lot of people, they mess with the hydraulics. They mess with the hydraulic and you may have 3000 PSI and somebody come, you know, and say, you know what? I'm gonna pump it up to 3500 PSI, you know, and they increase the pressure. And when you start increasing pressures in the hydraulic system, uh, first of all, you have to make sure your hose and valves and everything else is, 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 is rated to work to a higher pressure. You, first of all, that's the one thing that you have to check first. And second, 
uh, you start asking for more power demand, asking for more horsepower, because when you increase the pressure, and you can do the math over here, you start increasing a few hundred PSI, soon you're gonna be running at a horsepower and, and your electric motor is not gonna be able to keep up with it. Uh, the same thing when you change gallons per minute. You know, a lot of people say, well, I want to go to a bigger pump so the system can move faster. And you start increasing uh, the flow on your on your system, then you also wanna keep in mind that either either one, if you increase pressure or flow, you're going to ask for higher and higher and higher horsepower. So you also have to check your electric motor, that your electric motor is gonna be able to keep up with the newer requirements that you have. You know, and, and that's just what I'm saying is that some people, they, they like to mess with it and some other people, they, they just want to change it and make it bigger, you know? Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, this is how you uh, calculate the horsepower on a hydraulic system. Uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, leave your comments below. Very important. Give us a like. Give us a like. Make sure to subscribe on this page. And uh, thank you very much for your attention. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.